Batteries Not Included started out as a small a tune I wrote for my quartet, and I thought it'd be nice to arrange it for the band. And then halfway through arranging it, I got this silly idea to restate the melody over a slow blues. Um, and it worked, and I thought, okay, great, you know. That's, and that's a typical Nojo kind of curveball. I guess the humor is just the reactions players have to the music when they first come in sometimes. Um, you know, we've had guys come in and say, you know, just when you think it's cruising along, you know, you're playing your sax solo and it's just, then something comes and smacks you on the head, you know, just out of nowhere. We didn't set out to be a cutting edge big band or an avant-garde big band or anything like that. We just wanted to write the music that you know, reflected what we were interested in. But it struck a nerve and a lot of people said it wasn't like anything anyone else was doing in Toronto. And um, So from there we've had a good three years. You know? um, we were really happy when we recorded our first CD and the fact that it won a Juno was a total surprise. The second CD was Juno nominated. and. That was that was great too, you know, and uh, and now having Don Byron with us is kind of like um, the culmination of everything we've been striving for. the kind of music if you first hear it I can understand being confused by it um, but uh, it's like any, you know, if you have an opportunity your ear gets more if you hear it night after night you start to hear what's going on
I remember the first time I played a particular solo. Um, it's uh, it, it's a sl really slow blue with the triplet feel, but it comes in all of a sudden after something completely different. And it had been the first time I'd played the chart before. I hadn't heard it before, so I wasn't sure, you know, where the time was going. And all of a sudden, the band sort of drops out, and then I have to play the melody, which is a kind of a strange melody over top of this blues. And I thought it was totally wrong because it, it kind of sounds crazy at first, but but, uh, but then I got off over the shock. And If I go and I play at a wedding or something like that, which I have to do quite a bit of, you know, I have to consider every move that I'm going to make musically, and I have to think, is this going to be in the bag of, of what they want so that they don't get sick from their dinner or something like that, right? But in No Joy, you don't have to think about that. 